<laughs> we're making a school bus. <laughs> we're putting the measurements now on the wood. Oh, the wood is a two by four. What kind of wood do we have? Uh, pine. This is pine wood we have right now. You can use any other type of wood for it. Say the measurements. Yeah, I know. Wait, what? You have to say like how much you're measuring. Okay. So you want a piece of wood that is about four and a half inches long. And so we're gonna all right. So you want to measure one eighth of an inch? No, one one eighth of an inch for the front. Is that one eighth of an inch or one inch up? Uh, one inch and one eighth. Okay. Is that a trick? Wait, is yeah. it one and one eighth? That's one and two. one eighth. Yeah. Yeah. See? One. And then one inch is one one inch up. I know, I mean, this is that one and one. Yeah. Okay. And then you're gonna go four and a half inches, no, four and one fourth. That is four and one fourth. Yep. And then it should be two inches and one fourth. Is that right? Go back, go back. Okay, pause. Okay, so find the center of this, which would be. One and one fourth. That's not one and one fourth. Uh, now, we're, now we are doing the windows to the bus. Okay. That look right? Yeah. Oh, I dear hope so. So we want, and then one inch in. So like. And these will be the holes. Right there would be the hole for the drill bit. Or the window. Well, that's about right. Yep. And then down here will be the wheels for the bus. So like, find the center of this. And then another one over here. I want to make it equal with this one. Oops, that was a really bad line. And then this is one and two away from each other. This in total is one eighth inch. This is one and one eighth inch. This up here will be four and one fourth. And that is two and one fourth. And then this one's yeah, two and one fourth. So that's what you should be ended up with for the first step. We're not. We are now at the Meyer saw where we're gonna cut the uh, outline bus. Is that on there? Oh, it's not on there yet. So be sure to put the clamp on so okay. there's no um, wood that flies or shoots out of the saw. Don't say. Yes. Very important. Um, always wear your safety goggles. <laughs> and have your hands four inches away.
away from the blade at all times. So tell them what to do now. Oh. Well, first you're gonna it's back. First you're gonna wanna bring it forward and bring it down. And to start it up, push down this button right here and push down this tree. So here we go. Delta and always make sure to have a backboard so you not ruin the table. Okay, so put the first unlock it. Put the chuck in the chuck hole. Chuck hole. Then you're gonna tight set. I think it's the other way. And then you want to tighten it. By going right. <clears throat> make going make right. sure. It's very important. Go right. Yeah, make sure that it's straight when you're tight. And then you tighten it with. And you tighten it with the quill. All, all three holes. Okay. And you should be right. And then first you gotta test it to make sure it's. You should always test it for really wood. Okay. Okay, so you you always want to check the depth that it is. Oh, whoops. About there. And if you need to adjust it, always lock that. The the depth. Um. And if you want, you can always use the clamp. Yes. Put it the other way like this, maybe. Or oh no, we know. Wait. Okay. Are you recording? Yeah. Uh, okay. So and always put it up. Put a hole where you're gonna drill into. So you have, you're ready. Take it back up and ready to drill. Always let it reach full speed for a little while. Right there. Do you want to come a little more? 
Take it out. If necessary, take it out. Ooh, it's never necessary. <laughs> well, it looks like these people did it. Yeah, exactly. Well, no, what would that do? What? Just taking it out. Well, you're supposed to have that in if you're going to drill. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Keep that in. <laughs> what exactly are you trying to do? It's not going all the way down. Then you got to adjust it. Yeah, then you got to adjust it to where it goes down into the table. Yeah, to adjust the table in. No, not the table. See, like, move that. Let's just do this the easy way. See, that's like one-eighth of an inch. Right there. You adjust the table. Lock the table. Okay. And lock it. You saw that one. Goggles. And then again, always make sure your work area is But don't dust it off with your hand. Blow it off. <laughs> <laughs> Bad example. <laughs> That's what you should not do. Bigger or smaller? Your hand is so close to it. Four inches apart, yeah. <laughs> yeah, always remember to be four inches away from the thing or you'll get your hand cut off like this. Yes. Don't brush it off. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> and then one more. I don't know, is that going to be yeah. too close? You can do it. We'll just be a little more this way. Yes. Yeah. Got this. Let me sketch. <laughs> oh, you went down a bit. Oh no. Oh, uh, I did? Yeah, it's okay. Alright, there we go. Just the messed up school box. <laughs> the left window, at least. It's not a special box, guys. Okay. This is why you make your measurements drawings. accurate. Even though we did. We still have the chance. <laughs> She just went down a bit. Oh. 
careful. Didn't ignore that one. That was nice. <laughs> and there they are. Okay, now we are gonna do the wheels on the bus. Go around there. Okay, you may take this thing out. Okay, and now for the wheels we have a 932nd. Here you go. Lily, you should marry. Okay. <laughs> so we're turning it and tightening it. Make sure the wheel or bit, drill bit, is secure and straight. So you test, test it, it to make it sure it's straight. Oh, it's test. And before using one of these machines, make sure the drill bit is in full speed for contacting the wood. Okay. 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 So now, oh, pull up your sleeves. I don't want to do it. I thought you were going to do this one. Oh, well, Prima, you're going to do this one again. Really? I'll narrate. I'll do the camera. I don't want to do that. How you raise this? You push, yeah. Oh, uh, good job, Lily. Woohoo! I'm not that blonde. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you are. I forgot. Yeah. Yeah. I feel are you, weak. Are you moving wrong? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, I feel weak. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. But if you're a specialist, Prima, you may have to try this a few times. Hey, Maybe you should have put this in the hole first before you. Oh, block it. I'll just hold it again. I think that's just easier for me. Yeah. Well, put the thing down, so... It's oh, okay. Nice. Make sure there's no distractions around you. Yeah, always 100% focus. Can you tighten up the no, I'm not using it. I'm just using my hands. I always have 100% to what you're going to do. And my hands are approximately four inches away, so it's, it's all good. Approximately? Approximately. We're not going to bust out a ruler to go out. Just saying. Oh, oh, always do the depth first. Don't oh, yeah. That. It's a life lesson, yeah. Oopsies. <laughs> Life lesson, yeah. No, because they're like, it's not going down. Okay, wait. Okay. That's good. Okay. Is that too far now? No. Okay. Okay. Now you may start. Now it is okay to start. Adjust it when it's off. Yeah, never yeah, you know, off. adjust it when it's on. Oh, it's not on there. Uh, I think it's on the Are you sure it's all the way? Oh, you can go a little lower. <clears throat> Should we just adjust the table? Okay, now put it down. That should be good. Okay.
try this again. That's the one, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay.
So now we're at the little sander. The little sander. <laughs> okay. Not the big sander. The little one. Yeah. So, turn over here. So make sure you roll up your sleeves. Yeah. That sounds good. They're turning that one on. How do you turn that on? If a machine is making a weird sound, always turn it off and check what's going on. Check some people. Uh, we're at the little sander and we're sanding. So you turn it on and slowly go over the top. So you don't want too smooth and you don't want too hard or you'll ruin the finish it. And now we're going to the sand it. Sand, sand it. 
so we're hand sanding it. Okay, make sure you get the corners because you don't want them pointy. Yeah. And then if you want, you can have the circles inside your saw, so you would go inside there. And then the edges, you don't want that pointy either, so you'll sand those off too. Okay, so. This is what the bus would look like without a finishing coat. Uh, and we're using vegetable oil to put a nice uh, coat. Around nine coat. So you just take a rag and dip it in the vegetable oil and you rub it on. And you do not need an excessive amount of oil. Yeah, you don't need that much or it'll get really sticky. And don't worry about your hands because you can just wash it off. Dude, you're not even recording the bus. Oh my gosh. Dude, I was recording the bus. That's you. You guys can talk until Yeah. <laughs> silent. Well, we've already messed up like three of them. Chase was in here. Yeah. Interesting. Is that why he was yelling? Yeah. Yeah, we heard Chase scream. We were like, he, he was like, I have tuberculosis. We <laughs> <laughs> were just trying to cover up something. Yeah. <laughs> That's just the way of Chase. Yeah. That sounds like him. Yes. <laughs> Especially the girl scream. <laughs> Okay. So what was he? Did you come in here to get angry? No. Like, what was that? He was in here. We were like, that was Chase. He has triple Okay, because Jordan, every time I walked out there, Jordan was like, I was like, And then Jordan was like, Chase, you're a faggot. When I walked out there, sorry. Chase, you background noises. Chase, you do realize that we're recording, right? Okay, we just wanted to say that. Okay, so this is what it looks like when after you Did you miss Woo! Just get out of here. And that was you Chase's. I think you missed face. a spot like, right here. You missed a spot. Shayla. Yeah. Missed a spot. Dude, don't just don't, don't just put it on the thing. That's what you do not do, guys. <laughs> hey guys, wanna go move bucket oil? Dude, you're not gonna It's dangerous <laughs> for you. Okay. Wait, where did I miss? I had Jordan come in here Try and there, sock him over the face. Crack more. That's very loving, Chase. I keep forgetting you guys are videotaping me. <laughs> Yeah, that's not a good idea. Okay. Okay. Dude, I know, right? <laughs> okay. That's right. Okay. Put it on the drying rack. <laughs> on the drying rack. For it to dry. Okay. <laughs> so put it on the drying rack. Okay. okay. Putting it on the drying yeah, rack. Of the rags. So over here. Yeah, Woo! The rags. Okay. So. Here's the final parts for the bus, the axles and the four wheels, and you have to glue them. So, you the glue on the thing, if I can, I got Oh my god, it's Koya. Do you help? Yes. Oh, you start getting it. I love it. And then you put the wheel on the axle and you let it dry. You have to glue oh. the axle and the wheel to the bus. <laughs> okay, so now we see that? you take the already glued one. Tight in. Sorry. <laughs> and you glue the other side. 
Not too much though. Because it was like a big mess. Oh, what? Calm down, Sequoia. It's okay. Yeah. Oh. Shut up, Prima. It's not nice to say shut up, people. Yeah. Okay, so then you have one side and you do that again to the other side. No, 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 don't glue it yet. Put it through first and then glue it. Well, and then you always want to have a little bit of the axles sticking out of the wheel. You don't want it too perfect. Those sides sit right there and dry. And dry. 